We're here! Finally, FHC brings you its magnanimous magnificence. The event that brings our first year full circle, the grandest stage, the passion. passion. Session three. I am your host, Robe, and tonight we have the show of shows for you as we have five title matches for you, a gauntlet match, a tag team tables match, and of course, a 30 gladiator over the top rope battle royal that General Manager Palmer has commissioned last night, in fact, at Super Flight Night Lord of the Ring. And if you missed out on it, go YouTube it. Lots of action there. But of course, two new champions were crowned. The new Lady of Sky champion, Tia, defeating Jade Quinn in an amazing upset. And of course, the Lord of Sky championship saw Kenta go head-to-head -head with RVD Rob Van Dam, where Kenta was crowned Lord of Sky very well deserved but that was yesterday today let's run down the matches for tonight our first title match will see the FHC Pacific champion Butch Deloria defend his nine-month reign against the Swiss Superman Cesaro and the hotshot Tyler Black fresh from Super Flight Night in a treble trial match will Butch make it ten months or will we see a new champion crown then we have the much anticipated tag team tables match between the icons Giant Panther and Starman versus El Huracan on the Frost Bastard. The Icons showed their teeth at Suplex City and haven't looked back. Huracan and the Bastard will look to put the Icons through some wood tonight and even the score. Next, in a shocking development, Wes Sui is challenging Tom Fireman, Tetameko, and Perio Sullivan the Welshman to a gauntlet match in which he will take on all three members of Sonic Fire. Is he smart? Or is he suicidal? This looks like it's the Braveheart's last chance to take it to Sonic Fire. And we'll see if he can survive the gauntlet. Then, we have our 30 Gladiator Over the Top Battle Royal, commissioned by Mr. Palmer last night, in the vein of Battle of the Gladiators. And the winner will be declared the Gladiator of FHC, which we aren't really sure what that means yet, but I'm sure Mr. Palmer will let us know soon. And then, after that, we will have the four-way tussle for the Dragon Championship where Guile will defend the title against Jacob Glenz, Azathoth, and William Wallace. The Sonic Fire leader will have his work cut out for him as he tries to keep the hands of three other men off of his belt. Pause. Can he do it? We'll find out. Then we move to our third title match for the night. The Tag Championship match will be defended by the Tunnel Snakes Wally Mack and Malik Ferdenko in a ladder match against the challengers Hawk and Hunt, the Demone brothers. And of course Hawk and Hunt were screwed out of the titles last month at Suple City when Butch interfered. But now they will have a second chance in a no disqualifications ladder match. Very exciting. Then the exalted battle is here as the legend King Slender takes on the world warrior Ryu. Slender ended Ryu's chance of becoming FHC champion at Suple City and now he is looking to fulfill one of his goals here, and that is defeat Ryu. And then the ladies championship match, where either Morrigan or Lilith will face ladies champion Susie Mack after our Hello Ladies tournament, a roaring, su su uh, roaring success over the last month. And Mr. Palmer has announced a special guest referee for the title match, which will be announced at, uh, later this night. And finally, the main event, Darth Wump challenge his blood, the FHC champion Loke for the FHC championship. Again, this match, 17 years in the making. This is the match we've been waiting for for months, and it is finally here! We're here! The following is the finals match of the Hello Ladies Tournament. Making her way to the ring, from the Korkari Wilds, Morrigan. And this is what we're talking about here tonight, folks. This is the finals qualifying match between Morrigan and Lilith. They've come so far, both of them, and the victor, or Victoria, if you will, here, will go on to face Susie Mack for the Ladies' Championship later tonight. This is, this is uh, our first match of Session 3, and it is a very exciting time as we see Morgan in her in her dress blues. In fact, it's like the dress purples, actually. 
and her opponent from Cairo, Egypt, Lilith. And Lilith has come a long way. Uh, she is a Super Flight Knight original, and she didn't even uh, appear on the Slam roster until last week when she had her semifinals match uh, against Karen Rebel. But she has always been a force to be reckoned with. I mean, she's had uh, several wins and losses throughout Super Flight Night career. Uh, but in the, the latter half of her, of her career there, she's, uh, she's currently going on a six-match winning streak. If she wins here, she will make it seven. Probably the most out of any ladies in our division. But the, the fact that she's made it this far into the tournament on the finals says something about her ability and her drive. And now we quickly see the, uh, the brackets on what brought Morgan and Lilith here to the finals. As you can see, they've both dominated everyone that they've been against. And now the winner between Morgan and Lilith will go on to face Susie Mack for the ladies championship later tonight. It's, it's a very, very exciting time here tonight, folks, for this. Um, and now we begin Morgan versus Lilith to start out session three the grandest stage and Lilith opens it up with an arm drag on Morgan looking very dapper tonight uh, however Lilith has chosen to stick with her regular uh, wrestling attire and now Morgan into the ropes for Lilith going over the top rope but Lilith fighting back and now she get the Egyptian beauty gets back into the ring oh and Morgan oh but no Lilith uh, reverses into a, a reverse DDT but it's uh, it's been uh, it's been great to see this tournament uh, last uh, this last month we got to see uh, mostly all the ladies participate and see how good they are when going against uh, who they were matched up with and uh, you know seeing Morgan and Lilith in the finals I don't I'm not sure that you could you could pick two other f uh, great finalists I mean both of them have shown what they can do Morgan of course is former FHC ladies champion the longest reigning one in our history and now Lilith trying to challenge that oh my goodness Lilith throwing Morgan into the turnbuckle like she's a rag doll and look at the size of Lilith we've always we've always seen her that she's a uh, she's been pretty big pretty tall great physique I, th she, I think she's bigger and, and stronger than most of the ladies here in this division but uh, she's gonna have her work cut out uh, cut out with her cut out for her against Morgan oh and a huge spine buster by Lilith showing off that strength and stamina and speed but Morgan quickly quickly reversing that trying to get back on her feet and now Lilith in the turnbuckle ooh huge now Morgan with the snake eye uh, snake eyes uh, a turnbuckle and now a huge big boot and Morgan on a roll and ending that with the leg drop good lord oh here I think we're here Morgan with an inverted backpack slam that could be it folks oh and Lilith kicks out Lilith kicks out oh Morgan setting up for the oh my god the flip over flip over slam and that's it for sure folks Morgan heading to the finals with Sus no wait wait Lilith kicks out Lilith kicks out of both Morgan's signature and finisher oh my goodness oh yeah I I I I, again, I, I, like I said, you, you couldn't ask for two better finalists. Morgan is throwing everything she has at the Super Flight Night veteran. Oh, huge leg drop. But Lilith kicking out. And Lilith still going strong, it looks like. Kipping up almost. Oh, and Morgan with the shoulder, shoulder block there. And now a, a, a bulldog. Oh, and could we be seeing Morgan with those left-hand chops? And oh, Morgan not being phased. Just trying to show the crowd that she's still in this. 
But man, Lilith, I don't know how Lilith is taking all of this damage. Uh, uh, since that uh, flip over slam, she is not really uh, doing that much. Oh wait, but no, I was wrong. Lilith, Lilith with a backpack stunner. Backpack stunner. Morgan could be out here. Cover. Oh, and barely two. Morgan kicks out at two. Oh my goodness, finisher after finisher. Oh, and Morgan with the with the flip over back body drop. Again, how is Lilith taking all this? Her stamina is is going through the roof, and she's she's sticking it to to Morgan. Still won't go down. Oh, and a huge fast power slam. Lilith with the pin, two, and Morgan able to kick out. My goodness, what what an amazing finals match in this Hello Ladies tournament. We seeing these two two titans going at it. What an exciting match. Oh, Morgan moves out of the way at the last second. Oh, could we be safe? Oh, another flip over slam! Another flip over slam by Morgan! And the cover! And she pulls out the win! Morgan is able to pull out the win, finishing Lilith off with that second flip over slam. The job is done. Morgan heading to the finals. She will be facing Susie Mack for the ladies' championship. Well-fought effort by Lilith. Lilith was taking everything that the Witch of the Wilds was giving her. But in the end, it wasn't good enough. Morgan able to claim victory here tonight. And now she has her second title shot against Susie Mack. And, and Susie Mack, speaking of which, is coming out with a bat! Oh my god! Oh, from behind! Oh, Susie Mack is making sure Morgan does not make it, does not win for the title shot later tonight. Good God! What brutality! Oh, Susie Mack, just such vile behavior here. Just making sure that Morgan is not at 100%. In fact, I, I don't even know how this is going to affect the match later on, but Susie Mack just trying to get some insurance on her side. Uh, so for the ladies championship match later tonight, I don't know how much Morgan is going to be able to recover from this, but oh my goodness, but Susie Mack has definitely ensured that the Tunnel Snake has the advantage for tonight's title match. Oh. But now, moving on to our next matchup, we're seeing the treble trial match for the Pacific Championship, Butch Deloria defending against the Swiss Superman Cesaro and the hot shot from Super Flight Night, Tyler Black. These two young superstars are challenging and are ready, full of vigor. Butch is going to have his hands full, but he does have the advantage. He does have his nine-month reign as Pacific Champion, taking on everyone who's decided to try and wrest the title away from him. And he's been able to destroy everyone including Cesaro. But now, how is the addition of the hotshot Tyler Black going to compare with Butch's previous matchups? We'll find out next. I'm probably going to stir up a little bit more controversy now, as I probably have been lately, but can we really say that Hawk and Hunt deserve to be here? This has the potential to be a pretty good match. Oh god, and Malik and Hunt starting out for this tag team championship match, and Malik giving Hunt a, a hard DDT while Hunt was on his knees. Oh, here comes FHC Pacific Champion Butch Deloria, and he's throwing a chair in the ring at Malik, and Hunt is, is still down. Malik is taking the chair. Don't do it, Malik. Don't do it. Oh, no! 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 no. And, oh, oh my god, it's Tyler Black! Tyler Black from Super Flight Night is here! It's Tyler Black! Tyler Black from- The Tunnel Snakes are under attack. My boys were just assaulted backstage by those affluent a-holes. No one cares what you think or what you say. Because you're a sniveling little son of a bitch. And everyone in this arena would cheer if I came down there and kicked your ass. Good god, I think he's ready for battle, folks. And right into the ring with Butch. Good God. And I guess... Oh, and after a pretty impressive run on Super Flight Night, 
Black has finally chosen to make his in-ring debut against none other than Pacific Champion Butch Deloria. Oh! Oh, here comes Cesaro! Cesaro's here and Cesaro's taking out both of Butch Deloria and Tyler Black! Going for Butch instead, of course, Cesaro means business! Good God! Good thing this isn't a real match, but Cesaro, jeez! Butch is out! And Tyler Black out of nowhere with another chair! Tyler Black! Tyler Black on Butch Black! Tyler Black on Butch Black! Tyler Black on Butch! You know, it seems like all I do is come out here, and I'm getting a little sick of it. I'd skip the part where I get pissed off about something and go straight to the beatings. But wait! Wait, here comes Tyler Black! Tyler Black is in! And takes out the Butch Deloria! Good God! Tyler Black wanting revenge as well! Oh my goodness! Taking it to- You wanna see someone who plays Dirty Butch? You wanna see someone? Well, that's me! I want a shot at the Pacific Championship at Session 3! I'm gonna cement my spot on the Slam roster, and I'm gonna take that title- Ah! Oh my god, it's Cesaro! Cesaro's in as well, taking it to Tyler Black! Cesaro does not want Black to get his own shot at the Pacific Championship! It's amazing, we knew this was gonna be- Oh, wait, 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 Tyler Black! With a huge- with a huge Skywalker! Oh, and Tyler Black! Tyler Black taking the win from his patented finisher, the Skywalker, and now- Oh, it, the, the match is over, but Cesaro fighting back! Cesaro is livid here, folks! Cesaro taking it to, to Tyler Black here. Oh, but here comes Butch Deloria with the bell! Oh, God! Oh, oh God! Butch Deloria taking down Cesaro with the bell, and now taking out Tyler Black with the bell, too! Butch Deloria means business, folks! Oh, God! Okay, let me be the first to say that this matchup is a total farce, as always. Cesaro, you've more than outstayed your welcome. I've already beaten you straight up, and I put you through a flaming table. I didn't know you were so masochistic. Because all you'll get tonight is more of the same. This is not an issue. And as for Tyler Black, where does all this hatred come from? Because you think I'm squandering the Pacific Championship? Just look at my title reign. Nine months, baby. I've beaten them all. You call that squandering? You're a delusional red shirt freshman, a career triple A wonder kid who isn't good enough for the show, and someone who will never beat me, the best Pacific champion. That's something you'll never be, because after you get the Tunnel Snake Slam, I will walk out of Session 3 Pacific Champion, and I will stay Pacific Champion the next nine months. If Morrigan's whore ass got pregnant from one of her many suitors today, I will still be champion when that whore child is born. Bottom line, Cesaro, Tyler Black, you can bring anything you want to the table, but Butch Deloria will always win because I have more experience. I am hungrier and I am the greatest son of a bitch that ever lived. Tunnel Snakes rule. The following match is set for one fall and it is for the FHC Pacific Championship. Making his way to the ring from Norfolk, Virginia, he is the FHC Pacific Champion, Butch DeLoria! Good God, that sounded like a man ready to stand his ground. Butch DeLoria going on nine months as Pacific Champion, the longest reigning champion in our company, period. And if he's able to successfully defend against Tyler Black and Cesaro here tonight, he will make it ten months. Well, Butch is uh, one of two in treble trial matches, 50% while defending the title. The other, not being a loss, but a no contest, probably due to some interference or something. Uh, he has already beaten Cesaro a number of times in both non-title and title matches. But you throw in a variable like Tyler Black in there and you have an unpredictable situation. Tyler Black is as good a challenger as any, 
In fact, he's currently on a seven match winning streak coming off that win over Cesaro on Slam last week. The guy's hot, and this could be just what he needs to take the title away from Butch tonight. And his opponent, from Lucerne, Switzerland, Cesaro! Cesaro is one of the strongest wrestlers I've ever seen. I mean, this guy, we've seen him. He can pick up wrestlers who outweigh him and slam to the mat like they were a bunch of twigs. I mean, he can swing any guy by their feet, make them dizzy, and can neutralize any threat. I mean, unless you're Butch Deloria, that is. <laughs> I mean, Cesaro has faced Butch a number of seven times in both singles and tag matches and has never been able to beat him. Not once. And it goes to show you that pure strength is not a guarantee at victory. You have to have intelligence, agility, and perhaps a bit of charisma and luck in the right combination. Wow, that sounds like an RPG right there. Anyways, but Butch has all those things, and so far they've been keeping him dominating in the squared circle. Can Cesaro overcome all the odds tonight and beat Butch finally? And more than that, will he become the Pacific Champion? And their opponent. From Davenport, Iowa, Tyler Black. Black is from the heart of America. Grew up wrestling for some of the indies out there, and then of course his talent became apparent in Ring of Honor, where he became an ROH Tag Team Champion and then the ROH Champion. Then he had a long successful run in the WWE, where he won the FCW Tag Team Championship, the FCW 15 Championship, and the FCW Heavyweight Championship. And then, of course, FCW became NXT, and he became the first NXT Champion. And then, going on to WWE, he became WWE Tag Team Champion, as well as winning the WWE United States Championship, and finally, the WWE Championship. I mean, this the list of this guy's accomplishments and titles is longer than my pauses. Pause. So, we'll see tonight if all that talent and momentum is good enough to net him his first FHC title. And now, with the bright lights of Session 3 upon these young bucks, who will shine in this excellent matchup? Cesaro versus Tyler Black versus Butch Deloria for the FHC Pacific Championship. Oh, and of course, right away, Deloria and Tyler Black going for a, a double team there. Oh, and could we be seeing another one? There we go again! Butch and and Black seem to be in in uh, <laughs> in a in a good uh, rhythm here right now, and all of these double teams on Cesaro. I, I think I think both these guys know how strong Cesaro can be and is, so they're they're trying to trying to wear him down first. But now uh, now we're seeing double teams on all sort of sides. Now Cesaro and Butch going for Tyler Black. With a double suplex. I think this is the name of the game here, folks. Uh, in these troubled trials especially. Uh, you're going to have a lot of double teams, as we see. You know, and it's the only way to wear down an opponent. You know, because if, if all three kind of go at it all at the same time, it's I'm not sure if that's the most even way to do things. But... Uh, it doesn't matter who you team up with here. You're gonna, you're gonna continue to uh, to wear down all of your opponents better this way. So, I think, and I, we've <laughs> we've been seeing this now. I mean, a, a minute or so into the match, and uh, and and that's all we're seeing. And now Butch to the outside with a oh my god with a go over a blockbuster on Tyler Black. Very well done. That's gonna that's gonna put some points on the board. And now Cesaro with the with the leg smash, knee smash on Tyler Black. Tyler Black looks like he's he could be out. Cesaro and Butch going at it now. A familiar matchup from the last few months, but now Black back up. And now of course back to the double team. Now this time Cesaro and Black working on on Butch Deloria here. And as much as Cesaro is is this is probably this strong as pound for pound, uh, both Cesaro and Tyler Black know that Butch Deloria could also be the man to beat. I mean, he he's not going on nine months. Uh, you know, could be ten after this as Pacific Champion. He's been unbeatable, unbeatable. 
So, you know, that, that says something too. And Tyler Black with a huge uh, drop kick there. Says, oh, and, <laughs> and, and a backflip senton. And it looked like, uh, it looked like Cesaro was a little dazed there as, as we see, uh, going on maybe two and a half minutes into this match now that, uh, uh, the, uh, everyone's being worn down. And Butch with a huge springboard crossbody. Oh, and now a cover on Cesaro. Oh, and Cesaro able to kick out in reverse. Black trying to break up the pin, and he does. That looked like a close one, folks. It almost looked as if uh, Butch was going to get the pin on Cesaro. Butch almost retaining right there, but Cesaro, of course, with the with the strength that he has, was able to uh, reverse the pin with that momentum. Very well done by the Swiss Superman. And now Butch and Black. Oh, Butch got Black hung up in the ropes, and now, oh, those jabs to the back. That's got to hurt. Oh, and a huge backstabber to Black's back. Black's back. And now Butch going up with a, a crossbody again, and he hits it. I, I, you know, I gotta say, Butch usually misses those, uh, and he, he's he's uh, he's probably two for three now in in, in those springboard uh, springboard dives, which is great. And the crowd on their feet, Black reversing on Cesaro with the Russian leg sweep. Butch going for a drop kick, but no, the attempt fails. And now, oh, Black answers with an Insiguri. Cover on Butch and Cesaro able to break up the pin. Fast paced action. Oh, Cesaro with the neutralizer on Tyler Black. Tyler Black's out of it, folks, with the cover, but Butch is standing over them. No brainer. Butch breaks up the pin, but Cesaro able to pull the neutralizer out of nowhere. And Black must be a. Black must be a, uh, he was almost neutralized there, and oh, a Cesaro with that huge knee into Black's face. Now Butch trying to get up on things. Black trying to break it up. My goodness, which finisher are we going to see next? Oh, and another double team. This time with Butch with the Inseguri cover on Cesaro. And Butch is there as usual to break up the pin. Oh, Cesaro. Oh, it looked like Cesaro was trying to go for another neutralizer, but Butch putting a stop to that before he could even start. And now Black with the cover. Cesaro breaking up the pin. All three of these superstars are weary now. Oh, oh, a huge backbreaker and a neckbreaker. Nice combo by Tyler Black. But Butch right back up. But you can tell all three of these. Uh... Oh, Butch. Butch with the hit. Butch with the back hit. The tunnel snake back hit, and my goodness, Tyler Black getting both of those finishers on him, and now Cesaro with the neutralizer on Butch. Oh, 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 Tyler Black just watching, watching it happen, letting the damage be done. But now he wisely breaks it up. Oh God! Oh, and here we go, Cesaro and Butch with a double team on Black again. Black is getting the brunt of the uh, oh, oh, small package. Black is getting the brunt of everyone's finisher. It's it's a oh it's a oh in a rear naked choke by Butch, but Cesaro is right there again. Somehow, some one of these guys is gonna have to take out one of the others and then try to do battle. I mean, when you have all three guys awake <laughs> and conscious, you know, and Butch going up top. Oh, Butch! Butch going up top misses misses it, and now Tyler Black. Tyler Black with a Skywalker and Cesaro again! Cover! Oh my god! Tyler wins! Tyler wins! Tyler! Pacific Champion! Your winner, Tyler Black, is the new Pacific Champion! Capitalizing on Butch's failed springboard... Springboard dive! And then hitting the Skywalker and Cesaro! Oh! Perfect! Perfect! Oh, Tyler Black is the winner and the new Pacific Champion, folks! My goodness! What a great, great match! Action packed, full of finishers, full of near falls. Oh my goodness, folks, and there you have it. Tyler Black has ended the reign, the nine month reign of Pacific Champion Butch Deloria, folks. Oh. 
Someone was finally able to do it, and that man, Tyler Black, now going on an eight match winning streak, and he can also call himself the Pacific Champion. Good lord. Well, we've seen history here tonight, folks, and, and, uh, and we're only gonna be making even more history tonight. In fact, next, we have our special guest referee for the ladies championship match later tonight is going to be introduced here in a second and I believe he has something to say to the crowd uh, well you know what that's all I'm gonna say about that let's go ahead and bring him out Hello. Ladies. ladies and gentlemen FHC proudly presents from Las Vegas Nevada Val Venus! One of the most charismatic superstars of all time. <laughs> wow, I. Uh, this is almost like a King Slender moment for me here, folks. I never thought I would see this guy perform ever again or, or, <laughs> or see him in a wrestling arena, but wow. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in shock. I'm in awe. I grew up watching this man perform as well. I mean, oh god, that, that sounds really awful. I mean, I watched this more. I watched this man perform in the ring. His big package, his money shot. Those are his wrestling finishers, of course. God. Anyways, Valvitas, ladies and gentlemen, a former European champion, a world tag team champion, a two-time intercontinental champion. This guy has the has the size to slam guys and girls <laughs> with the best of them. And for a man his size, <clears throat> he can come off the top turnbuckle just as fast and hard <laughs> as any of these cruiserweights. <laughs> Hello, ladies. <laughs> the big Valboski has returned. And I have returned for a very special assignment. Your President Palmer has commissioned me to be the special guest referee in the ladies' championship match between Morgan and Susie Mack. And I gotta say, he could not have chosen a better superstar to do the job. Because ladies... You know, when the big Valboski performs a job, he finishes to completion. <laughs> now, I've been around the block many times. I know I still have many friends in the business, both men and women, but mostly women. <laughs> So if any of you ladies wants to come looking for me backstage, well, I'll be there. But I did see some ladies in the back that I wouldn't mind conversing with again after all these years. So ladies, I guess I'll be the one coming backstage for you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess Val Venus is up to his old tricks once again. Well, we're glad to have him here in the FHC. So, we'll be ready to see him as special guest referee later tonight for the ladies' championship match. But now, up next, we have one of our highly anticipated matches tonight. It's the Icons, Giant Panther and Starman, going against El Huracan and the Frost Bastard in a tag tables match. They've been called the best wrestlers in the VWA, maybe in all the industry, and now they are here in the FHC. Oh, hey, sorry, brother. Uh, we didn't mean to startle you guys. Maybe you Tunnel Snakes can show us around the place. I think you just issued the Tunnel Snakes a challenge tonight. Wait a second, wait a second. Starman, Starman with the Death Valley Driver. One of his finishers, one, two. Three, Starman takes it! Starman and Panther have beaten the FHC Tag Champions! 
gotta say, Giant Panther and Starman have been doing pretty well since they've gotten here. They're, they seem to be the most cohesive uh, in their tag matches. Now Starman getting tagged in for Bronzeman. And he's, he's got a pop-up, he catches a mid-air, going into the Fireman's carry, and Starman with the Death Valley Driver, his finisher! Oh, and Starman, Starman taunting, taunting it all for the win. We still have our talent, we still have our experience, and we have the will to go out there and show these newborns that we are their fathers. We came before them. These guys have been learning from guys like us all their lives, brother. It's time to whip them into shape and tell them that daddy has come home. Sadly able to kick out, but Panther with a huge right on, on Backtrap. And now double pinned by the Icons, and they've taken it! <laughs> what a way to finish the match! We took on the Tag Team Champions Tunnel Snakes first night, and we won. But now that we've been around the block a couple times, we see that's not exactly a super great accomplishment. But what would be a super great accomplishment is to take on the longest reigning tag team champions in FHC history. And that's you and the bastard. A match like this involving the two of us has only one place and one time. Suplay City, brother. This is going to be a great matchup. Panther and Starman are, of course, the favorite to win here tonight, but you really can't count Huracan and the Bastard out. They've practically won every match they've been in since arriving, but I think we have the chance to do very well. But just them taking, taking on with each other. Oh, and Huracan with a huge diving crossbody all the way to the center of the ring, but he got Starman, but Starman was able to come out, and now Starman ramping up with these multiple clotheslines, and a huge slam by Starman on the Huracan. Oh, it's th with the Star Spear! The Star Spear on Huracan! With the cover! Is Could that be it? Panther! Oh no, and Huracan kicks out! Starman reaching for the stars, if you will. Oh, we could be seeing the Star Driver here! Where's the bastard to save him? No, with the Star Drive on Huracan! Starman with the cover! No! No! And Huracan still kicks out! <laughs> A huge shoulder block on uh, Huracan to get him out of the ring, but now Bastard is the one ramping up. Oh, and Bastard with a huge, huge hit on Starman in the corner and a huge tackle! And Starman up for the Star Driver? Can he do it? And he pulls it off! Star Driver on the Bastard! Huracan making the tag. We could be seeing a double team here. Panther up on Huracan's shoulders. And Bastard with a huge, huge flying clothesline from the top rope on Giant Panther. Didn't need Huracan's help there. Starman trying to go for that Insiguri. Bastard ducks under one, but he couldn't duck under the second. Oh, and a Star Spear! Star Spear on the Bastard with the cover! No, oh, and, and he pins him! He pins him out through the Star Spear! What an amazing match! Of course, Giant Panther and Starman are both still undefeated when it comes to tag matches. It looks like they're ready to go up against El Huracan and the Frost Bastard once again, but this time on the grandest stage, Session 3. That was the match, but now who? The Star Driver? Tag Tables match. Making their way to the ring. Giant Panther and Starman. My goodness, and I think this is gonna be my match of the night, folks, because of course we're talking tables. And other than that, the bonus, Tornado Tag Tables with great talents. You can't get any better than this, folks. 
Panther and Starman took on Huracan and the Bastard last month at Sioux Play City, where both teams put on a very exciting match where we saw the Icons pull out the win. And their quarrel continues with this match tonight. And for both of these teams of this caliber to compete in this tables match is going to be huge. I'm, I'm talking monumental. Not only will we have lots of wood, we're going to have top-notch wrestling. Can the Icons pull out another win tonight and keep their tag undefeated streak alive? Or will Huracan and the Bastard break the streak and get a win against two spectacular Icons? And their opponents, El Huracan and the Frost Bastard. What are the things that you think of when you hear El Huracan and the Frost Bastard? Greatest tag team, cohesiveness, champions, all of the above. But what do they become when you put them in the same sentence as Giant Panther, as Starman? Do they become just another tag team? Or do they belong in that same sentence? We've seen them give the icons a run for their money and keep up with them. And their match at Sioux Play City, where they had the icons in several near falls, I mean, that match just made for an amazing, nail-biting, edge-of-your-seat match. And I have no doubt that tonight's match will be yet another exciting cluster knocker. Because, hey, it's Session 3. Oh, and both of them from behind. Oh, and a face buster and a bubba bomb. And uh, now Huracan looks like he's going outside, going to be the first one to get the tables, but no, Panther is trying to beat him to it as Bastard is beating Starman in the ring. And now Panther has that table, putting it gingerly in the ring, but the Bastard is trying to get him, uh, get him to stay outside, but now Bastard in the ring trying to uh, take that table, but Starman taking the table from him. Oh! Starman was going to go for the for the big table hit, but now, ooh, Bastard able to get the table hit on Starman. And Bastard we see put the, putting that table in the corner there. And Panther with a huge leg takedown on the outside uh, by Huracan. And, and it looks like just, uh, it looks like the mismatch here, folks. And, and now Starman with a huge bulldog. And it looks like maybe Panther and Huracan will be coming back into the ring. And that table is still in the corner. Oh, back body flip by Panther. And now Starman in the ropes. Starman able to cover or uh, counter. But now Panther set, actually setting up that table, getting back into the ring. And what are we going to see here, folks? Oh, Oh, Panther's got Huracan up on that table as Bastard gets a DDT. And now Huracan's on the table. Is Panther going to go up top? No, he waited too long. And Huracan able to recover from that. Goodness, it's just that that table's always looming. Oh, Starman with the Hurricane Rana. We thought, the, uh, we thought he was going to flip Bastard onto the table, perhaps. But uh, wasn't that far enough. Oh, and Panther... Oh, that he was. I think he was gonna get that stalling brain buster onto the table, but Bastard wisely picking the table up, and now Huracan with the flurries, the fast flurries, and Bastard setting that table up. Oh, and and Huracan with that huge body drop on Panther, and it looks like the uh, Huracan of the Bastards has uh, has the advantage here. They're they're going on the offensive. Now Bastard, oh, Panther getting launched into that table. What are we going to see here? Are we going to maybe see a suplex into the table? No! Panther able to counter and get out of it. But Huracan answering quickly with that single leg drop kick. And now Starman into the table. Oh! Oh, oh Bastard! Oh my god! B Bastard trying to crush Starman into the table. And Starman moving out of the way at the last second. And then with that quick springboard moonsault of Starman's on the Bastard. What an amazing moves. Oh, and it looks like it looks like this match is not over yet, folks. Everyone's trying to get even more tables into the ring. Good God. Bastard going through that table himself. 
Ooh, and a spike DDT on the outside by Huracan on the Panther. That's gotta hurt, folks. That has gotta real, real hurt. I don't care if you're if you're a veteran like Panther is or how hard your head is. You're getting a spike DDT on the on the mat outside, and you're gonna be in for some stars. And now Bastard has set up that table in the in the corner turnbuckle. Oh, and Starman countering with a neckbreaker. And we got two tables in the ring. Question is, who's going to go through them first? Bastard picking up that table, trying to get a table hit, but no. But Huracan getting inside with the second table. Panther following him in. Oh, oh and Bastard looked like a cradle suplex. Maybe even a T-bone suplex. And now Panther setting that table up. And Huracan getting on that, that second table here. What's Panther going to do? Oh, Panther dishing out the punishment. Dishing out the punishment on Huracan onto the table. Oh my god, what is happening here? Too much happening. Bastard in the table, but now Starman in the table. Could we see it here, folks? And what's Huracan going up top? And... Oh, the, oh! Oh my god, Huracan with the Super Hurricane run on Panther through that standing table. And here are your winners, Huracan and the Bastard. And for a second... I thought that Bastard was going to be powerbombing Starman into the table. It wouldn't have mattered. How cool would that have been if we saw double tables at the same time? Huracan doing that Super Hurricane run on Panther through the table. And then the Bastard putting Starman through the table on a powerbomb. That would have been amazing. Oh, but still, a great action-packed match with tables action. Oh, my... My uh, my cup runneth over, and now, and that is it, folks. So, tables match down. El Huracan and the Frost Bastard victorious, uh, putting their feud with the Icons one and one. I, I guess they're all tied up now. Um, so, we'll see what uh, we'll see what Mr. Palmer thinks about maybe putting on a uh, a tiebreaker match, perhaps at. Uh, the next pay-per-view or, or maybe even tomorrow night on uh, slam we'll just have to see oh what a great match folks so glad you could join us here in session three tonight now up next west soy versus all of sonic fire it should be quite the cluster knocker stay tuned folks <laughs>